I hate the term Japanese internment camp. This was an American internment camp. An American president, FDR, ordered American citizens of Japanese ancestry to be imprisoned in camps here in the United States because we look like the people that bombed Pearl Harbor. Neither the Army nor the War Relocation Authority relished the idea of taking men, women, and children from their homes, their shops, and their farms. No charges, no trial, due process completely disappeared. When I was still four, on December 7th, 1941, Pearl Harbor was bombed and we were plunged into the Second World War. Uh, I didn't experience the impact of that. My parents did. I was too young to really know what uh, was going on. The strongest memory I have is that morning when uh, my parents got me up very early together with my brother and my baby sister, still uh, an infant, and suddenly we saw two soldiers marching up our driveway carrying rifles with shiny bayonets on it. My father learned that we were going to a place called Arkansas. It was a camp called uh, Roar. We got off the train and uh, we were all lined up. Uh, we were all tagged like baggages uh, pinned onto us. Everything was taken from us to an unknown. Business was gone, our home was gone, and our freedom was gone. We had to be transferred from uh, the Arkansas camp to uh, Tule Lake, which was called a segregation camp with three layers of barbed wire fences and a half dozen tanks patrolling the perimeter. I mean, talk about overreaction. These were Americans who were goaded into outrage by the stupidity of this government. America has a tendency of making sweeping generalizations. It's not necessarily immigrants, people who are different, people who are from a different uh, culture, language, faith, and to characterize them as potential drug dealers, rapists, or criminals. We were called potential spies, saboteurs, fifth columnists. There was no evidence of that. Most Japanese American parents did not talk about it. It was a painful, wounding, humiliating experience. So there's a whole generation of Japanese Americans that don't know about their family heritage, history. We did a, a musical on uh, the internment of Japanese Americans called Allegiance on Broadway. Music has tremendous power to penetrate, and particularly Japanese Americans who uh, try to contain their emotions. You know, with a song, you can really express what's going on inside. The uh, graphic memoir, They Called Us Enemy, is to tell it as a comic book, a comic strip, so that the young reader can uh, find it more accessible. And we're telling it to an audience that's living through the horrors, the humanitarian outrage on the southern border. A tragic image from the southern border. Dangerous overcrowding. The, the resonance of my childhood imprisonment is so loud today. I mean, every headline, every morning, it's an endless cycle of one inhumanity, cruelty, injustice, repeated generation after generation, and it's got to stop. We have to learn our history. America is a land uh, that is made up of the descendants of immigrants. We have a statue in New York Harbor holding up the torch of liberty and inscribed on that statue is, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to, be, to breathe free. This is what our country is. It's a country made great by the immigrants that came here. At the core 
of Star Trek, at least the Gene Roddenberry uh, Star Trek, Starship Enterprise. He said that's a metaphor for Starship Earth. And the strength of the Starship Earth is in its diversity coming together and working in concert as a team. We have not failed uh, at reaching the ideal of uh, the utopian society uh, of Star Trek. The United States was founded on those ideals. Particularly today, we live in such fraught times. I think it's vitally important that we remember our history of uh, injustice and the series of injustice, never ending, of America. It is an amazing country, and we can make progress, and we are making progress, and that's why I'm an optimist. <laughs>